look at using Viva 3D software to convert existing standard glasses 3D to 2D 3D for mixing with uh, 3D content and also glasses free 3D for auto stereoscopic and Domenko style 2D plus depth. So let's launch the Viva 3D application. Uh, let's go full screen and let's load an existing form to display the movie which we'll now select. So this is the interface. Uh, here you can see 2D plus depth, 3D auto stereoscopic uh, and uh, anaglyph. So we'll turn off uh, 2D plus and you can see now we've got a scene here with several objects. Enable panning, increase the panning speed and you can see we can move around inside the scene there, let's click help about you see the software is web activated let's reset, shift reset and we're back to the normal let's uh, double click this object here which is a mesh grid which currently isn't playing the video let's select a side by side stereo video we have a demo from LG which is aimed for their 3D glasses uh, televisions and then we'll reload the form to activate that. That's oh, already activated. It wasn't necessary. So now it's running the Glasses 3D movie. And as you can see, we've got mixed content here, such as our logo, which I'm now dragging, and the time here down the bottom. Now, as you can see, this isn't in any particular format. It's just straight uh, 2D playback of the content. But if we click on 2D plus depth, you can see it's automatically adding on the right hand side the 3D conversion. We've got a variety of controls to adjust fine, fine tune the conversion. It's basically taking in the left and right images and it's calculating the displacement for the particular left right uh, movie settings the displacement is the shift of the left and right images uh, which is an issue which has to be adjusted depending on the settings of the original stereo recording in addition to uh, 2d plus depth we can support the 3d auto stereoscopic as you can see we the 3d auto stereoscopic there and I can just the, the disparity, the, the amount of the, the effects here, you can see the subjects that are shifting as I adjust that. So that's converting a glasses uh, type side-by-side -side stereo screen to the multi-view, in fact nine view format, which you can see here. And each of these nine views is taking a slightly different angle, converting the, the left-right 3D into true 3D using a radial convergence technique which has been developed in the house of Europe for 3D. Uh, and then we use that to create the views, the different views, to give the stereoscopic effect. Or just as easily we can switch to 2D plus depth. So we can see here basically the Domenko style monitor will take the 2D depth map and actually use that to create the, the projection. The quality of the conversion or the calculation of the depth map depends on a variety of factors. The quality of the original recording, any geometric distortions between the left and right images. Um, with a lot of 3D glasses movies, there is a certain amount of adjustment of the depth which affects the um, conversion of left-right stereoscopic into uh, auto 
stars from the moon to the moon's depth. But here you can see we've got quite a lot of detail of the coral reef here on the depth. And that enables us to create a really excellent 3D perspective on this movie or autostereoscopic movies. Or extrude that into 3D space and simulate the external environment through the camera, which can also be a live 3D camera because this calculation is running in real time. And uh, enables us to produce very high quality 3D effects. We've been playing this movie on a Domenco 50 inch screen, and uh, especially the coral reefs in the video here just looks fantastic. Um, and one of the nice things we can do is, as you can see in the logo, the viewpoint logo here, um, we can just simply drop in logos, um, spin them around. So you've got the ability to mix in your graphics uh, just as freely as you want to with existing 3D content. And of course that can either be for the Domingo style 2D plus depth, uh, normal 3D, where we actually use a technique to uh, extrude. Uh, it's a radial ex extrusion technique that we use. And you can see that the actual rays are coming towards the camera position. And this enables us to maintain high quality uh, 3D presentation without distortion, independent of the amount of noise in the actual image. So let's re enable 2D plus depth, switch back to 3D autostereoscopic, and if I turn that off and click with the control down, I can see the nine views being generated from the left right image. So basically, with uh, Viva 3D, from Viewpoint 3D, you can very easily convert existing left-right, side-by-side 3D videos uh, to whichever format you need for stereoscopic uh, projection monitors. And the, the quality and the setup is uh, the quality is good, the setup process is quite simple, and uh, we're very keen to work uh, with customers so that they can uh, produce the content they need uh, at a good quality more quickly uh, with mixed what we call live data 3D. And that's it. Thank you for listening.